Every day, the El Paso sector is responsible for staffing 11 Border Patrol stations and seven checkpoints, covering 125,000 square miles and 264 border miles of hot, desolate desert environment. Heat stress is a major concern in the Border Patrol because there's extreme temperatures. U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents are on the front lines of the war against terrorism and drug trafficking. Working in often brutal conditions, heat stress is a constant danger. One of the biggest factors that we have to worry about working in the field right here at the checkpoint as well, we have a lot of issues of just the heat radiating off of that pavement and just blasting us with all its fury, and it's something that we constantly got to be vigilant with. The Silicon Valley Innovation Program is harnessing promising commercial technologies to protect health and improve performance. At 90 degrees Fahrenheit, productivity will go down almost 30%. Our technology is a wearable device. It's worn on the upper arm of the individual, completely lightweight, very easy to wear. There is an alert that tells you you're too hot, and you also get an alert when you have returned to a safe working condition. Agents within the United States Border Patrol will push themselves to their physical limits every single day to have those precursor indicators to let them know that they may be deviating outside their norms is a tremendous added value that will benefit them on a daily basis. I worry more for my partner. She can't tell me he's dehydrated. Two, he has that big old fur coat on. In addition to human performance and resiliency, SVIP is advancing a project designed to monitor canine health. This is Araya. She is a Malinois Dutch Shepherd mix basically the same breeds that CBP, DHS, and a lot of these agencies use. She is wearing one of our smart harnesses. It has temperature sensors, heart rate sensors, respiratory sensors, GPS, accelerometers, where it will communicate with the uh, smart device or, or the smart watch, and it will relay all that information immediately from anywhere the canine is. You can view it live data or if somebody at HQ wants, they can see all the assets at the same time. The outcome is important, but speed is incredibly crucial to our team. That was the mandate. Deliver capability and deliver capability fast. SVIP identifies and engages nimble companies on the cutting edge of innovation at speed. We're trying to take wearable sensors, take that data and infuse it with context, and then ultimately provide actionable insights that can be used both personally, but also kind of from the standpoint of an enterprise level for the DHS leadership to really have an assessment of safety, performance, readiness. What I love about working with startups is that they're so hungry and they'll bend over backwards to meet the mission need. And a lot of credit goes to SVIP because they were such great partners and stakeholders at the beginning and that continues today.